Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things Lego. Hit the link below to find a store near you. So Mark Borles, some people know me as Brick Plumber. Um, this is my Hoth layout. Um, this thing is massive here. We have seen a, a lot of Hoth layouts over the years. This might be the biggest one we've ever seen. It's about 6'6 six, six by almost 16 feet. Okay. So um, I've been building Hoths for probably 15 years, it, they kept growing and growing and growing. Um, so this is, uh, this was basically built in 2017. I extended it a little bit, added some more stuff, but uh, yeah, my rendition of Hoth. So let's start here at kind of this end and we'll make our way kind of towards the base. What, what do you have out in this section? So these are custom walkers. Um, I, I built my first walker in 2007. That was my first thing that I ever did and then now with the new pieces, the new colors and everything, uh, these are custom. They were built before the UCS ones came out. So yeah, bid, built three of those. The speeders are custom. Um, they're about 6,000 pieces each. So um, the one over here, you'll see later, has an interior, has motors that have a winch that moves it up and down and everything. So that's incredible. You have lighting throughout, you said, so how do you kind of incorporate that into the build? Um, wires throughout. Um, there's little power, little points where I have battery packs and stuff like that. Don't always have power. So it's just built into the design of it and how you've been doing it long enough to kind of just know how to do certain things, put it together. I love the explosion effects here. It looks super nice. That's one of the things I just added the last re rendition. And I also bumped it out a 48 base plate because it was a little close. So that was the last thing that I revised from 2017 when it was done before. It's also easy to overlook kind of the various landscaping details here because there's so much white. But you've done a lot to kind of make it not just a flat plane. Right. So every one of the tiles are put in at different angles. And not pushed all the way down, push one corner, one corner, so it gives you that glistening snow look. Something I kind of came up with, so and it works out pretty good. So gives you that look, and it's not that fl plain, flat, you know, glassy look. Yeah. And then you've got like the, the trench scene in here with all sorts of minifigures, lots of action happening in this section as well. Yeah, and then a lot of funny things, you know, outhouse, and I always try to add humor in in all my builds, kind of like Lego kind of does, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And we'll walk around to the other side to see some of the scenes on the outside. As we do, you can talk about some of what you have kind of on top here, what, what is in this section. So, um, the shield generators, um, which, you know, obviously get destroyed, and then the ion cannon. It's a big, giant gray ball here. <laughs> big, giant gray ball that just sits on there. Yeah, it was, a, a tough build, but it turned out really good, I think. And a lot of people seem to like that a lot. And then we can take a look at some of the scenes inside. So what do we have down here? Here is the, uh, uh, the Wampa Cave. You have Luke upside down in there. Um, and then over here, this was just uh, basically a little generator, but the lights that go through with a tunnel that goes all the way out. So how the guys kind of going to get out to the battlefield yep. from inside the base. There's that there, and then there's another one over here that, that goes all the way out through the inside. It's all lit and, and everything. And then got a cafeteria and then a, a medical bay. I love that you've taken the time to add the detailed interiors even up in there, so it's not just a massive expanse on the outside. Yeah. So, yeah, lots of, try to do a lot of, lot of detail in, in, all, in all my builds. So... Um, yeah, and then we've got quite a bit on the, the hangar bay on the inside. What are some of the minifigures represented in, in this area here? It's just a general population, um, you know, there's no real, you know, you got all the, the guys getting ready to get their guns and head out to the battle, and then the rest of the guys are just the, you know, you're, you're the hidden guys that you don't see in the Star Wars movies, you know, you know, all the little things. I saw these uh, hinge doors over here earlier, so is that part of the lighting setup, or what is that? It's just an access point to get to all the power um, if I, for anything I need. Yeah. This is a real pro tip. you got to build those spaces in. <laughs> yeah, it's just a way to get to the wiring if, to change batteries. If I, sometimes I can do permanent power. I've got it set up, or I can do battery power. So it, it just gives me an option either way. 
What are these sections like structurally that you've kind of hollowed out here to make sure that all of this Lego isn't collapsing in on itself? It's like solid, big, eight uh, the uh, eight by sixteen plates just overlapping, and some of them are even bigger. So it's that thick of plate, and then the bottom ones are eight by sixteen white bricks or bricks, not plates. So it's as thick as the top is to give it that ability to span the, the distance. And then it's also supported by by the, the spear, you know, the, the parts that go down that help support the, the top. But it's still tough to travel. It broke pretty good on the way here. I had about five hours of just fixing broken stuff. Well, it's looking good. Thank you for putting it all back together yeah. here at the show. Just for you, you know, <laughs> no problem. And I know we, we mentioned this big cannon earlier, but what are some of the design elements there? How do you, how do you build a, a big round structure like that? Actually, I looked on YouTube on how to build, and so it's, it's, it's four pieces, and then they just they mash together. And then originally it was a ball, and then I, whoop, I left the, the back open because I was going to put a motor in here to actually work the cannon. Never got around to it. So, um, yeah, that, it's a tough a circle. A, a ball is very difficult, but I uh, got it off YouTube, and then I just basically kind of snotted it by cleaning it up and put some details on it from pictures that you see. Yeah. It's fine. Very nice. There's, there's a lot of cool things on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I've been doing this a long time and you, you still learn something every day. All the new pieces that come out and what is this scene down here? It's a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they got to have something to do while they're not, uh, in, they're not in, fighting all the time. Yeah, they're not fighting all the time. That is fantastic there. I love that. You've got the concessions and everything. Then that brings us to kind of the large section inside the snow. It's got a couple different options. It's a light kit set, very neat. I took a UCS and I put an interior in it and then put a light kit in it, the sound. Wow. Very, very cool, yeah. It adds that extra element there. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> what are so... What are some of the interior elements you added? How did you kind of modify this here? I basically almost took the shell, tore everything apart, and then basically had to rebuild the whole bottom and all of the interior and everything. So it was, it was a, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say it was a fun build, but it, you know, it turned out pretty good. It's tough with, uh, you know, utilizing the same skeleton and then taking out the structure that they didn't put your own structure in. It might have been easier for me just to design and build my own. <laughs> <laughs> and then lots more minifigures all around here. Just all the working, all the workers that you need, you know. There's Leia, and she's getting all the troops together before they head on out. And so. And some more, uh, like got X-Wings X and things in there? Yeah, just getting X-Wings. That's the only, X-Wings are the only thing that is is a Lego set. Okay. I just never have gotten around to customizing. Even though I have custom ones at home, I just, uh, I've got the directions and everything somebody gave me, and I just haven't put them in there, so. What's happening up top here? Uh, just a funny thing. It's it's uh, dimensions, it's the portal, and it's, so it's, you know, the troopers from the future are coming back in the past. So it's just a little funny quirk thing that I like trying to put in there, something different, you know. That brings us down to the scenes on this the side. Bricks and the and the you know the the war room or your the office and once again the guys like to have a little fun. So you see that represented here. Yeah, ping pong table, pool table, something to do when they're not at the movie theater. You know, <laughs> when they're not out fighting the uh, you know Darth Vader and all those guys. You got all the bunks in there. That's fantastic. Even little like trunk areas for the men to put their belongings in. Yeah, and lockers and stuff like that. Yeah. All the stuff you don't see in the movie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the boring, you know, logistics stuff. Right. <laughs> exactly. And all the fun control panels in here. Yeah. Yeah. The part where Vader comes in, you know, and but they were all gone and it's all smashed and broken. That's kind of how it looked when I got here. All smashed and broken from the trip, but uh, got it back together pretty good. So. And you see another view of some of the, the fighters down there as yeah, well. Just the guys working on them, you know, the ground crew, as you would say, you know, the, the guys you don't see. So. so with a build of this size, what is that transportation process like for you to get this to show like brick slopes? So the mountain is in two pieces. 
and then the base is in 35 sections. And I custom built crates for that and custom built crates for this. It's like a shelving unit, kind of came up with a pretty good design. So they all just slide in, they're all numbered. So on the bottom of this is a plywood with X's where each place and it's got a number on it. And then I have tiles with numbers on them that I put on them when I take it apart. So I know it goes into a certain slot and how it goes back together. You've got it down. You really know. <laughs> I've been doing it a long time. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Very, very impressive layout here. Do you have an estimate on the number of pieces at all? I'm guessing 200, 250, 250,000, not 250 pieces. <laughs> but guessing, looking at one of the guys that was here, it had a piece count on his and the size of his compared to the size of this one. So probably 250. I don't want to say that because you know you think of how much you spent when you spent 250. So I always try to guess less, so it makes me feel better, like I didn't spend that kind of money. But uh, yeah, everybody knows when you build something like this, it, it's a lot, you know. And it's I do it by myself, so you know I don't have help. It's not a collab. It's it's wow. it's individual. So yeah, this is absolutely incredible. Do you post your work online anywhere? Are there uh, places people can see your other builds? Do, um, I guess there's some stuff on um, on. Um, there was one on YouTube, and uh, but it uh, I've gotten out of that a lot because I'm not I'm not super digitally I'm not a the camera guy and everything like that. So I used to post it a lot, but now it's a lot harder to onto YouTube and stuff like that. You probably know because you do it all the time. But for someone that doesn't put something out constant content, it's you it's not as easy to get the content out there and, and put in there. So I don't do Facebook, but I have a what's the other one? Um, Instagram or Instagram, yeah, my daughter set up for me. Yep, yeah. I, when you're, I guess you're a little older like me, you know, it, it's not as cool. So you gotta have your kids connect you up with yeah, uh, the popular yeah, platforms. Teach me how to to surf the internet and all that. So <laughs> that's okay. This is an incredible build. So do you have other builds in this scale, like Star Wars layouts, or do you have anything planned for the future like this? Uh, I had an indoor that was actually bigger than this. Wow. Yeah, and I took it to Legoland for a few years, and I have a Death Star that is. It's like six by six by probably like 36 inches high, and it's about 200,000 pieces. And, you know, it's scale. It's got all the scenes, and that is still built. So if I come here next year, maybe I'll bring that. Yeah, that would be amazing. This is really, really cool. Thanks for all the effort building this and bringing it out to the show here. We appreciate it. Well, thanks for the interview. Awesome. Absolutely. Keep up the good work. Yeah, appreciate it.